So hey guys and welcome back. A little bit of a different video we're going to do today. Well, not really. It's another flight. But this one should be a bit more fun. Wow my FPS just dropped through the floor. I don't know what I looked at. I think my scenery probably just rendered in that direction. So we are on the ground at KATL, aka Atlanta. That's where we left off in the last flight. And this time we're on our way to Washington Dulles, KDCA. If memory says correctly, which I think it does. Uh, where the, the last, just to give you an idea where we are. We're over on Alpha Pier. Over there, that's the runways we're going to be leaving from. That one's there, zero 09 left. That's where we landed the last time. But that is where we parked the last time it was there, where the mouse, the clicker is. And this time, as I say, we're in the American Airlines Airbus A319. Jumping at the flight deck, the last crew that dropped the aircraft off for us left it in turnarounds. Sim is just having a little bit of a lag fest trying to work out what the hell is going on. Um, I'll close some windows just to make sure it doesn't get too frustrated. And we can start getting underway. So, MCDU initialization. We're going from K A T L to K D C A. Zap. Zap. So, according to the flight plan, our departure is going to be from 09 left on a uh, towards dogs. Flight plan. Departure. Zero 09 left. Dogs, uh, yeah. Whoa, easy. Yeah, you, you occasionally get FMC lag with this aircraft now. I never. I think it could be because I'm pushing the sim so hard because I never used to get this. After dogs, dogs, sorry. Uh, we'll be going on. Oh, uh, what are we doing? All right, it's actually a pretty simple route. It's direct to FAK. Foxtrot Alpha Kilo. Then after FAK, it is. Oh, that's the wrong window. After FAK, it's Irons. And then after Irons, it's the Irons 5 arrival in $2. Now what we need is we need some fuel on board. Load fuel. 136 passengers required on board today. With the associated five tons of cargo. Stop, actually say load instant. Uh, get everything on board now. And then get ready for the push. And in, in terms of the fuel. Today we have, have released tool, it's fuel, tool, fuel, there. 5.80 load instant. So load all of that in. So pretend everybody's boarded onto the aircraft because you know we've been initializing it for a while. Uh, APU can start. Uh, what else can we do? We can close the doors. Hype. So whilst that starts, as I say, we can close the doors. Then the beacon lights. Oh, sorry, uh, then seatbelts come on. Then beacons come on. Then fuel pumps all come on. And I'm just going to look in. No whites up there. No cautions down here. APU's near enough started. We can squawk 2200. Zero, zero. Transponder mode actually can actually go to transponder because that's ground mode. Spoiler that's armed, APU should have started by now, and then we can get ready to depart. Yeah, APU is online, so APU bleed comes on, beacon's already on. I can ask GSX to push us out, and it's going to be nose to the right, tail to the left. No, we can start engines during the push out. Ground connections, going to be the next thing we have to come and get rid of. Once, twice, three times. 
and the chocks, for some reason the aircraft loves parking itself without the parking brake on, so I have to put the parking brake on to remove the chocks. There we go. Starting engine number two. Now whilst the engine starts, because we don't have to supervise it in the sim, in the real world we obviously would supervise. We don't this time. That's our V-speed set. You saw a few days ago me uh, doing all the V-speeds in the um, in the A350, so you know how to do them if you wanted to. Basically, get the, get the A350. And yeah, go from there. Are we ready for push yet? No, put my back on. Okay. As you can see, it's pretty much a straight out departure to Irwin, and then left turn to the right, yeah, left turn to Dogs. Atlanta Airport, one of the busiest airports in the world. It's got four runways. I don't know why it's lagging, the sim's lagging so hard. I don't think that tug's big enough to push us out, but okay. Release parking brake. We've got one engine started, we'll start the other engine whilst, once we get pushed out. This is lagging so hard. I think it's the scenery that's causing us to lag this hard. It's quite a humid day here in uh, Georgia. We're on the deep south, so it's very humid, so we can get loads of um, Gucci vapor effects happening as we take off. Not quite as bad as Florida was, but still pretty humid today. And after we finish here, uh, we'll actually be doing a long haul flight down into, the, into South America from New York. So I'm looking forward to being able to show you that. Well, we've got, oh, sorry, we'll go Washington, New York, obviously. Um, but that's the plan, is to do a long haul flight. And then we'll be doing some Antarctic expeditions. We'll start number one now. Come on, game. The view system is just so. Oh. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll just say bolt pushback. See if that helps. Sir. No, it doesn't. It makes it worse. Right, let's go then. We do have to use large amounts of thrust to get the aircraft moving on one engine, because we are technically still taxiing on one engine. And we will hopefully be able to do the River 19 visual into New York, which is the which is the cool approach. Nineteen. So APU can come off. APU bleed system comes off. Ignition mode selectors to normal. Flap set for departure. Full left. Oh, okay. So for left rudder. We're going to chicane immediately right, so for right rudder, that's what flick there. For right rudder, neutral. For left, full right, neutral. Full back, full down, neutral. When the guy's doing the real thing, it looks more like this. I've seen them do it in the Airbus A321 at Newcastle, and that's literally what it looks like. And you just think to yourself, how can you even, you know, do you even flight control check these things, if you're going that fast? I suppose, you know, if you're running light, it's probably the best way to do it, because there's no point in me doing it really nice and slowly. My FPS would be so bad right now. Yeah, it's, not, it's 10. Okay, it's been worse. I'm not going to engage the autopilot until it gets a bit better. And it should get better the second we kind of depart. Should need to come back a bit. On the approach, runway entry procedure, 
Takeoffs are on. Transponder is on. Auto brakes max. Zero nine left. Flaps one. Takeoff config complete and normal. Ecam takeoff ecam no blue. Takeoff track is complete. Flex. Sorry, that was probably copyrighted because my singing so awesome. 60 knots. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's accelerating this time. Could be because it's so light because it's doing quite a short hop compared to what I've been doing recently with the uh, in the sim. In the sim. V1. And rotate. Prove to you that it is working. Next up, view. Look at that. So humid today. My Delta jets. I could not. I know we threw Delta on the last leg. Yeah. Okay. Commander. Can engage the autopilot now. It starts bouncing all over the shop. Oh no, I can't. So, thrust come back to climb. And now we're going to have to wait a little bit for it to get to an acceleration height. Let it accelerate. Think. Okay, maybe it won't. Don't think. Does this aircraft actually Don't like to fly think. itself? That's like what autopilot is meant Don't to do, right? Think. Out of blue. Speed is set to this one. Flex, climb. Right, Toga lock is still on. Auto throttle off. Auto throttle on. Throttle is now in climb mode. And engaged. And hopefully accelerate us in a few seconds. Bing bong, there's a smoking sign for the cabin crew to be released. And we said cruise in this leg was, what was it? I didn't actually initialize one. Crap. 380. Oh. Cost index 85. We don't need a flight number in that, it's just more mildly than anything else. I did actually have it, but I just thought I'd initialised it, you know. Alright guys, so on that slightly major screw up, I'm going to leave you all here, and I'll see you when we're uh, getting closer to Washington. See you then folks, bye.